The Atlantic has released a new report revisiting the sexual abuse allegations against director Brian Singer. Brian continues to deny any wrongdoing and has never been charged with a crime. The report accuses him of engaging in sexually inappropriate behavior with four underage boys in the late 90s. He is also accused of sexually assaulting a 17-year-old in 2003. The magazine conducted a year-long investigation and interviewed over 50 sources, including four alleged victims who have never gone public with their stories before. We asked Brian for a statement, and he said, in part, again, I'm forced to reiterate that this story rehashes claims from bogus lawsuits filed by disreputable cast of individuals willing to lie for money or attention. Brian says the writers of the piece originally pitched it to Esquire, who declined to publish it. He accuses the writers of homophobia and trying to take advantage of the success of Bohemian Rhapsody, which is the movie he directed. Uh, Esquire had turned down this article. Atlantic admits to that, that it was pitched. The writers have admitted to that, saying like, yes, we did pitch it to Esquire, but um, they ultimately decided not to publish it, so then we went to it, The Atlantic. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Why, why do you think Atlantic published it and Esquire wouldn't? First that, and foremost, hold on. It, the idea that this is a homophobic hit job is ridiculous. Nobody would care. Nobody does care that Brian Singer is gay. That's yeah. fine. Nobody cares about that. That's not an issue. The issue is uh, him potentially doing things with uh, a 13-year-old. That's the thing that everybody's worked up about, Brian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. Okay, so um, look, Ronan Farrow um, initially did his report as far as um, at the beginning of the Me Too movement, and it and was trying to do it for NBC and, and didn't. It couldn't get through the NBC lawyers. We are, by the way, guys, part of the NBC family, so I'm not going to be popular for saying that, but it's true. Like mm -hmm. BuzzFeed as well, they published an article um, last year, I think it was, on R. Kelly that had gone to other publications yeah. that other people wouldn't publish. This happens. Different publications have different ways they as decide, far as how their lawyers deal the with it. Is it worth the risk or not? Yeah, you have to clear a very you know, high bar to publish yes, a story Is like it this. worth the risk? This is a 15-page piece. They have a man on the record and uh, four men talking about their um, instances that they say happened between them and Brian Singer. And... You know, I think that if you have a story to tell, you have a right to tell your story. Mm -hmm. And The Atlantic is possibly the most credible magazine out there. Yeah. One of them, as well as a New Yorker. And I would, you know, whether um, these sources have lied is like one thing I can't say, but I know that it would have gone through the most rigorous legal checks. <laughs> That's it for today's Daily Pop, but don't worry, we do it every day. That's right, and be sure to click below to subscribe to our E! News YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the latest videos. Whether it's tackling breaking Hollywood headlines or amazing celebrity in-studio interviews, Daily Pop on YouTube will keep you pop cultured. See you soon.